Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn that how we can find cross-site scripting vulnerability in live websites. So let's get started. So as you can see here is the web application uh, right in front of us and what we need to do is we need to find an injection point over here, right? So as you can see there is one injection point which is the input field uh, here, peptide and here is the button, right? So I'm just going to type a random value and we are going to see whether the value is reflecting in the response or not. So I'm just going to type Spider-Man and let's hit enter and as you can see there is no uh, reflection over here but if we go to the source code and let's try to find Spider-Man over here. Perfect. As you can see we were able to find Spider-Man which means the input is getting reflected, right? So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to test for dangerous characters. So I'm just going to type greater than less, less than and let's see how the uh, web application behaves when we provide some dangerous characters. We hit enter. Let's wait for a few seconds and let's search again. And as you can see that the dangerous character is rendering as it is, which means that there is a high possibility of cross site scripting vulnerability, right? So now in order to exploit this we have to craft a payload right so as you can see it is ending with a double quote so we need to specify a double quote over here so i'm just going to specify a double quote and we have to end this with double quote and less than so double quote and less than and now we can type our payload right so i'm just going to type image src equals to x on error alert one perfect now this particular tag will try to load an image from the source x which is an invalid source so on error it is going to execute the javascript here which is nothing but alert one so we, if the uh, web application is vulnerable then we may able to see a, a one in the pop-up so let's hit enter and i'm just going to remove the view source from here let's hit enter again wait for a few seconds and perfect as you can see we were successfully able to execute cross-site scripting vulnerability in this particular web application right so i hope you understand that how we can uh, find cross-site scripting in live websites and you can also check out my previous video in which i have shown you that how we can find cross-site scripting there as well so thanks for watching and do let me know if you have any doubts or comments